Hi friends, I'm feeling weird. It's humid out. <sighs> Welcome to Kids Yoga Super Stretch Playdate. I know I said that backwards, but I'm not feeling like right today. I'm feeling kind of off. I thought I'd start out with a joke. Like, do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? Do you? I know you want to say R because they go R and they grrr when they're upset and frustrated, but it's actually the C. Pirates ride the waves of life with their breath and in boats. But jokes aren't really funny right now. Um, and sometimes things are just really tough. So today at Kids Yoga, our Super Stretch Kids Yoga play date. I'm here to share the yoga love with Super Stretch and all of our friends at 247 Mindful Pathway. We're here to help you during tough times by teaching you how to flip the negative switch in your mind so that we can respond wisely with right action and justice and compassion and kindness so that we can be calm and courageous during tough times. Whether it's situations or with other people or even in our own minds so we can be kind to ourselves. And that's why we practice breathing, stretching and playing so that in our bodies, in our minds, and most importantly in our hearts, we can find balance. And that's because you're a superstar and balance is your superpower friends. So I started off and things are backwards in my mind. And this is our 37th, I had to figure that out, 37th time together. And when things are tough and you don't feel like laughing at my bad jokes, this is when we turn to our inner strengths. This is when we allow our breath and our movements and our mindfulness practices to strengthen our heart and give us some peace, which is also a seal or an ancient way to show happiness, peace, positivity, goodness. And you have all of that stuff within you, but when your mind is all scattered and your thoughts are all over the place and things just don't fit together, then we're not balanced. So come on friends, let's start off our practice today not doing a, a lion's breath and roaring <sighs> and letting things go. Not doing a buzzy bee breath and getting all those weird feelings out of our tummies, the sadness, the worry, the fear, even the sillies, or even when you're tired or lazy, bee breath helps you. Not even Diver the Dolphin, where we breathe through our nose like the blowholes of a dolphin. And not even starting off with Prana the Balloon Breath, like our friends are doing here. Today we're actually gonna start just sitting in lotus flower pose with our friends David and Layla and all of you amazing humans out there. And we're gonna sit comfortably in lotus flower pose and we're gonna just listen to our heartbeat. We're gonna see what it sounds like and what it feels like because you are strong and confident and brave. And when we take deep breaths in and deep breaths out, just like the pirates and that kind of bad joke that I made, like to ride the waves on the sea, we're gonna try and guide ourselves to center so our mind doesn't feel frazzled and a state of inner calm as we dissolve our fears with breath. So come on friends, put on your listening ears and let's take deep breaths in from our bellies and deep breaths out. And just give ourselves that inner strength 
from our heart so we can listen to it as we tap into the superpowers of breath. Okay, sometimes, even now, when your mind is so busy, it's really, really hard. Hi, friend. It's really hard to focus on the breath. So let's close our ears and we're gonna cover them and we're gonna listen. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose as your belly rises and your belly falls. You're holding on to your listening ears. Do you feel the warmth of the breath? What does it sound like? You're calm and easy. Hmm. I almost feel the beating of my heart. It's like a little drum. Can you hear it? As you listen to the rhythm of your breath going in through the nose and throughout your entire body, notice how your fears start to dissolve Your worries start to fade away. Huh. And you almost feel like you're just melting into the soothing sounds of the breath. Yes, friends, you are strong and brave and confident. Just listen to your breath. as it centers your mind and your body and your heart. You did such a good job just listening. Let's see if we can get even calmer and more centered as we breathe, stretch, and play with our friends in the Super Stretch universe. All right, here we are. Let's start off with our friend Moksha the Mouse and see if we can fold forward just like all these little boys and girls right here. And we're gonna fold forward and find our bodies relaxing and creating the quiet that we need to start our day on a positive note. And from that, we're gonna go visit our friend, Hani, the silly monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He feels really silly today and we're gonna tickle our toes. So let's start off getting nice and quiet in a little ball, like a mouse in the mouse house. And you can take your little fingers and make little mouse ears as your forehead touches down to the ground. Big breaths in, good breaths out. Feel your body relax and find center. I also am fogging up my mat here. Fog up the mat as you take nice, big, deep breaths. And then slowly wake your mouse up as your hands come to your knees and step one foot forward and then the other foot forward. And here we are standing nice and tall. Hi, friends. Welcome to the 247 Mindful Pathway. So glad you're here to play with us. Are you ready? Spread out your toes. You're standing tall like a monkey. But just like we were talking about at the beginning of practice, my mind is super distracted. And like a monkey that's reaching up, looking for bananas and climbing the trees and being silly, can you just reach your arms up and try and balance on one leg? Whew, that was good. Let's try to do the other leg. Reach your arms up, reaching tall and high, way up to the sky, and then lift a leg up. Whoa. Oh, good job. Okay, now as you plant your feet down, reach 
reach your arms up and stretch and stretch and stretch and then whoops I see something down on the ground honey the silly monkey folds forward and tickles his toes head hangs neck is long breathing deeply mm. and when we forward fold like this and sway from side to side like a fold it over doll or a fold it over monkey we're just wagging our tails and letting everything roll out of our head just letting our thoughts go Ooh. you know what else we should do right now okay let's go visit our friend arda the elephant do you see him all right here's david doing Arda the Elephant, swaying side to side, and then folding forward. Can you help me to do that as you shower your mind, your body, and your heart with kindness and love? Okay, here we go. Starting off, just like Connie the Silly Monkey, reach your arms up high, making an elephant trunk. Interlace your fingers, and then with a little bend in your knees, fold forward. And we're going to just suck up some water from an imaginary lake. Okay, you got enough water, friends? Let's fill up your trunk. Roll up to standing, reaching high, and let's shower our friends with love and kindness as we stretch our body from side to side. And sometimes elephants make the funniest, funniest noises. Are you ready to try it? We're going to go, We're going to become Doris the dryer and Wally the washer and we're going to twist our bodies and we're going to rinse out any yucks that are in our tummies as we listen to the soothing sound of our breath. And even though we're moving and we're more active, all these smart moves are still about listening. So can you keep your listening ears on as we twist and twist? all of our uncomfortable feelings away. Listen to the breath as your hands go to your hips, a little bend in your knees, and here we go. Shh, 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 shh. Sounding just like Doris the dryer. Push all that yucky air out of your tummy, all that staleness, all that confusion, and feel really sturdy and steady on your legs. Here we go, let's do it again. Okay, here we go. Hi friends, thanks for joining us. 
and we're gonna dry our clothes. So we twisted our bodies, making loud sounds for Wally the washer. And now for Doris the dryer, we are gonna take and we're gonna make our hands into fists. And then we're gonna bend our elbows and we're gonna make big, huge circles, churning our arms forwards. Ooh, and now make your arms go backwards. Oh, and let's see if we can open our arms wide and move them around. Good job, forwards and then backwards. Oh my goodness, that feels so good. Okay, now I've got an idea. Let's see if we can move one arm in a crazy eight motion. Good job. Okay, can you do it with the other arm? Take the other arm into a beautiful super eight. Oh, big circles with your arms, making an eight, a sideways eight out in front of you. Okay, now open your arms wide as you go forward. And now try it on one leg, just one leg. Whoa, good balancing, everybody. Remember, that's your superpower, keep breathing. Let's try the other leg, balancing and balancing and balancing. Whew. And then slowly, 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 Doris the dryer is tumbling all of your clothes until they got washed and now they're dry. We feel a little bit cleaner in our minds, our bodies, and our hearts. Let's see if we can take a big breath together. Big breath in. Good breath out. Oh my gosh. You know what that reminded me of? We should try to do Surya, the sunny salutation. You see how the kids start off standing and then they move their bodies through back to standing. Can you try that with me? Okay, that sounds really fun. Let's try Surya, the sunny salutation. Here's how, are you ready? Let's do it. Standing tall and proud, just like um, Tada, the standing dog, and Hani, the silly monkey. Our bodies are long and lean, and then we're gonna inhale and reach high. Exhale, dive all the way forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Oops, my head just got cut off. Exhale, hands to the ground, step back, high plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. And then inhale, slithering snakes we all make. And on your next exhale, auto the down dog. Wag your tail and sway your head from side to side. Sway your head from front to back. Good job, superstars. Look to your hands and can you hop all the way to the top? Kiss your shins and then roll back up to standing as your hands pop, arms come down. Whew, that was good. Let's do Surya, the sunny salutation and take a revolution around the sun. Want to do that again? Okay, friends, let's try. This time, we're gonna use our listening ears to just listen to our heart, right in that space where our inner strengths are, right? Our breath guides us as we breathe in big and breathe out even more. Okay, ready? Let's go for it. Big breath in, good breath out. Big breath in, good breath out. Oh, we're like in my bad joke from the beginning. We're on a pirate plank. Arr, get all those yucky feelings out. Feel your body strong, feel safe, feel supported. And then slowly lower down and slither up as you breathe. Mmm, just like that snake. Slithering out the uncomfortable skin, shedding the yuckies. And then look to your belly button. And down dogs, we all make. 
make. Head hangs down, hips are high, and your body's calm and strong as you breathe in and breathe out. Good job, friends. Let's put our listening ears on and try and stay here for one more deep breath, just listening to the rhythm of our heart. Bend your knees, calmly and courageously hop to your hands, kiss your chins, and breathe in, breathe out. Very good, very good. Yay! Really nice, friends. Let's try and do hi. Barbara, let's try and do a couple poses together. We're gonna try, try the shape shifter. We are gonna be a bunch of shapes. How many shapes do you think your body can do? Do you think you can be a circle, a square? Well, for sure we're gonna be a triangle because you're gonna do it today. And then we're gonna try to be Chandra, the crescent moon, isn't she pretty? All right, we are gonna try and be just like these two little girls here, and we are gonna try and reach for the stars and be our best self. And then we all are superheroes, like I keep telling you. And we're gonna be like these two fantastic boys creating mindful space with our arms open wide. Let's try it. Are you ready? Jump your feet and your arms really, really wide, and then take and as we practice being tri, the shapeshifter, point your toes to a side and reach out as far as you can. One arm comes down and the other comes up as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Let all the air out and then whew, come on back up. Great job, friends. Point your toes to the other side and reach, 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 reach until the hand comes down and one hand is in the air. And you've got a triangle with the fingers in the air and the tips of your toes. You've got a triangle right here. Do you feel that? And you have a triangle in between your legs. Feel your body strong as you're breathing and then let everything out as you come on back up. Whew, that was super good. Let's reach our arms up high with a big breath and make that elephant trunk that you practice with Art of the Elephant. And jump your feet wide. Point your toes to a side and bend into your front leg. All right, here we are. Breathing into Chandra, the crescent moon. As you listen to your heart, let's take and bring our hands to them and blow out air through our mouth. Let all your worries and fears dissolve as we breathe, stretch, and play them away. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in as you straighten your legs. Can you go right to the other side? Pointing your toes to the other side. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Whew. That was really good, friends. Let's stand right here, strong and confident and courageous, and take a big balloon breath in. And then we're going to let it all go, just like Connie the Silly Monkey, and we're going to Oh, fold forward, 
head hangs, body strong. And then slowly, slowly, slowly roll back up. Huh, I have an idea. Do you think that you could help me to merge Surya the Sunny Salutation, Chandra the Crescent Moon, and Hero 2 together? You wanna try it? Okay, let's try it. It's kinda hard, so just do the best you can. Remember, that's all we're trying here is to breathe and stretch and play, and if things get hard, you just do the best you can. And when we practice and practice, practice, that's when things start getting easier. Okay, here we are, standing tall. Big breath in, good breath out. Big breath in, good breath out. Lower your body down and big breath in as you slither like a snake. Good breath out. Down dogs we all make. Okay, this is when we're gonna try to do Chandra. So reach your, oops, leg up high and step it forward. Ooh, arms come up like Chandra and then we're gonna open up to our hero pose. Big breath in and here we go. Whew. Good breath out, palms to the ground. Step back to plank. Arr, you're strong, you can do it. Lower down and then down dogs. We all make. Let's take the other leg, the left leg back, reach it back, and step it forward into Chandra with a big breath in. Pull all that air into your body. And then exhale, open. Warrior two. Great job, friends. Big breath in. And let all the air out as you frame out the foot. Step back. Good breath out, big breath in, good breath out. Your head hangs down, your hips are high, and we have all this amazing positive energy moving through our bodies. Feel all the yuckies go, and you're getting a little bit happier and a lot healthier. So can you help me to hop? Woo! Feet to heels. Oh, that's the same thing. Your heels and your feet are the same thing. Feet to hips, how about that? Woo. Woo. Happy, happy dogs playing around until you jump your feet to your hands and on your face, your shins land. Dive all the way back up with a big breath in and a good breath out. Very good, very good. Yay, I'm so proud of you, friends. Let's see if we can do one more standing pose and be like a tree, like all of these kids there, unique and individual and different, but also all the same. We're gonna be steady and create a strong foundation no matter which way your hair blows or the wind blows. Want to try it? All right. So let's ride the breath as we listen with our listening ears. Our hearts are calm. We're just really giving ourselves good, positive space to reboot and recharge like a computer. Oh, so that we can function properly. Standing tall, hands to your hips. Let's take one foot up and bring it into the other leg. Press foot into leg and leg into foot and notice the trunk of your tree and your body getting longer and taller. And then if you want to, make the branches of the tree with little leaves, wiggling your fingers. Big breaths in. Good breaths out. <sighs> Let all the air out as your feet and your arms come back down. 
And we'll try the other side, friends. You really are superstars. You're doing a great job. Place our hands to our hips. Lift the other foot up. Knee goes to a side. And then feel it press into the other leg. Okay, here we go. We're going to take and reach, 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 reach our arms into a comfortable position. And just stay steady and strong. Feel the safety in the breath. You've got this. All right, knees come forward, foot and arms come back down. Very good. All right, do you think that you could help me do Surya the Sunny Salutation all the way down to the ground? Should we try it? Okay, breathe in. Breathe out, and then jump your feet and hands back. I'm moving them forward so I can face you. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, as you become a nice little snake, and then breathe out. Down dog, so we all make. Breathe in, as you jump your feet forward and your legs straight out in front of you. <gasps> you know what pose we can do? Or the rowboat. We can go right onto our behinds from that Surya the Sunny salutation, just like this little boy and girl are doing, David and Layla and their friend, and we are going to row a boat. Are you ready? Reach your legs up if you can. Remember, you can always keep your hands down and your feet off the ground. You could even grab the back of your legs, or if you want to, reach your hands forward and row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Want to try the super stretch way? Okay, are you ready to try it? So the song goes, Row, row, row your body, use your breath for steam. Laugh and smile as you go and live out your dreams. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> That's okay if you fell out of that pose. That was kind of hard, friends, but you're doing a great job. I think we should do sideways the crab because not only do I feel a little bit weird and crabby, but also sideways the crab helps to wash away all of those sunny salutations. So let's be uh, the crab, sideways the crab, and as your hands come down, lift your tummy up. And this is a great way to let go of tough things by becoming stronger from the inside out. Can you help me walk forwards? Whoa, walk backwards. <laughs> Can you walk side to side? Whew. You're doing a good job, friends. And then slowly lower back down. <sighs> Think we should try to do another balloon breath right here. Okay, so sitting in your lotus flower, hands to the legs, we're gonna take a big breath in, just listening, hands down the legs, and a good breath out, letting everything go. Let's try that one more time. Big breath in, good breath out. As you just listen to the inner metronome, that nice rhythm of your heart, balancing your body and your mind. Whew. You're doing a really good job, friends. Let's make a pizza pie, just like our friend right here. We're gonna open our legs wide and sway from side to side, and then I think we should share it with our friend, the rainbow. Rainbow, the butterfly is the queen of change. 
And we are going through a lot of changes right now. And sometimes this chaos is hard to understand. But when times are tough, that's when we listen to the inner strength of our heart. Okay, so let's come on back. Open your legs wide. And I'm gonna open them so that you can see my toesies high to the sky. Okay, we gotta mix up all the yummy stuff we're gonna put in our pizza. So feel as if your body or your chest is a big bowl and you're just moving around one way, oh, moving around the other way, mm, until you come right back to center. We'll take all of those ingredients that we mix together and roll them out on the floor, making a big, huge pizza pie. Oh. All right, put on any other fixings that you want. Hmm. I know Kona, the pizza pie has pineapples on it, cherries, frosting. Oh, this is such a good pizza. Let's put that on there. And then we are going to bake it. So reach towards your ankles as you put it in the oven and bake it going side to side, side to side, back and forth and back and forth. Mm. And now look back in the oven as you listen do you hear it? It's done, the pizza's done. Yay, pull it out of the oven as you bend your knees and lift your legs up to the sky for a slice. Ooh, that's a good slice, friends. Okay, now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna fold right back down and take a uh, little bite of our pizza. So we're gonna is that good? Mmm, that was really good. See if you can reach forward a little bit more. And then release your toes as you slowly come up. But, whew, that was a big pizza. It's big, big. And we just took a little slice of it. So let's share some with our friend, uh, Rainbow the Butterfly, going side to side. So, her feet come together, knees are wide, and then there's little antennas so that they can fly about. You ready to help? Okay, so here we go. Hi, friends. Okay, we got this cute little antennas and we're flying about. We just ate our pizzas. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And then, oh my gosh, here comes a tree branch duck going right back into a little butterfly cocoon, getting nice and small. And then come on back up. And you've been so good today, friends, staying steady and happy and calm as you use your breath to guide you into a state of ease and relaxation, even when things are a little bit weird out there. So I think what we should do is practice just like what we did at the beginning we're going to listen to the beat of our heart and we're going to just fold forward into but sleeping butterfly and we're going to just listen to our heartbeat are you ready we're going to take three deep breaths here so fold forward breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out breathing in Breathing out. Slowly, 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 slowly. Rolling back. You know what? I heard my heart beat with my listening ears, but you know what else I heard? I heard Marichi the owl. Can you help me to find Marichi? Just sitting on his perch up in a tree. So we're gonna cross our legs up and over, holding onto our feet, and we're gonna twist to a side and go, hoo, hoo, hoo. And then look back forward and let's switch. Looking the other way, hoo, hoo, hoo. Scan your body with the breath 
and switch the cross of your legs. Good job, friends. And here we go, twist again, looking for Marichi the owl. I can hear him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then other way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then here we go. But I don't know, I still hear him. Can you bring your chin forward and look underneath? your owl's nest. Feel that nice deep stretch through your entire body and then roll back up. Friends, as you unwind your body, notice how you've also unwound your mind from being all scattered and unhappy and confused to being really centered and calm. You know what would be really fun to do? I think that we should go visit Ananda, the happy baby, just sleeping in his crib, just like these little kids right here. And then we will take our toes and flicker them up to the sky as we wiggle, wiggle, wiggle them and feel the body, just like a candle, starting to brighten up as we let go of any worried thoughts or any fear that we kind of are making us feel uncomfortable. And of course, since we are feeling good, we have to do the best pose ever, namaste the sheep. Namaste the sheep loves to relax and sleep. Do you think you could take five deep breaths, listening to the inner strength of your heart? without making a peep? Let's try it. Here we go. We're gonna lay on out, and we're just gonna bend our knees and giggle, giggle, giggle like happy baby. Oh, swaying from side to side until we just let our legs go up as our arms relax by our sides. Wiggle your toes as you feel the breath moving through every part of your body. And then legs come down as your arms and legs are really, really wide. Feel yourself relax. Just like Namaste the sheep. You did such a good job as you're dealing with tough things. You turn right to that inner strength of your heart. That's so kind to your mind, your body, and your heart. So as we stay right here and namaste the sheep, let's take five deep breaths together. Just listening to your heartbeat, what it sounds like, what it feels like. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Mm. Five deep breaths, friends, to finish our practice. I'm so proud of you for breathing and stretching and playing. And you visited 247 Mindful Pathway. Hi, Randy. Love, 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 love from Minneapolis. Thank you so much. How do you guys feel now after practicing? Do you feel super? Thumbs up, two thumbs up? That's happy smiley faces. Or do you feel sour? Or do you just feel the same? 
Well, remember friends, you, like Super Stretch, are a superhero and balance is your superpower. All of the characters and all of the fun things that you did with your friends today at 247 Mindful Pathway, we are all so glad that you were, came here to stay healthy and happy in your mind, in your body, and your heart. We look forward to seeing you next time. Stay calm and stay connected. Peace and big kisses and love from Miss Jess and Super Stretch. We can't wait to see you at our next kids yoga play date. Namaste.